all right hi guys and in today's video we're gonna talk about the basic functionality of this react flow render and in the previous video i just shown you the little this brief introduction about this library like react flow and how we can start working on this so today i'm gonna be telling you about this so we had completed this and i told shown you some kind of examples and briefs so let's start from here i told you that uh, if we want to connect a node from here and uh, with this node to this one so how we can connect with that function so right now you can see my server is running and you can see i had created some nodes that in that video and i just implemented it like this so today what i'm going to do i'm going to create a node but that node won't be having any kind of connection then we if you want to connect that node with that parent node then how we can do that so you can see this one like this heading basic functionality and the written over here like we don't do any state update besides the positions this means that you need to pass the function to remove an element or connect the nodes by yourself so you can implement your own ones use helper function that can come by the library come with the library hope you see the example and how to use the helper function okay so we're going to talk about these two functions review remove elements and add edge element right so let's start so first we what we're going to do we're going to use the connect method so you can see there's a connect method on connect it's going to connect that node with that node which we want to add on so just see that we need to import this line first like this function that is very important to import so what just what we need to do we have already did that imported that so what just copy this part and paste it over here so you can see okay so our both the two fun uh, functions have been imported and just create a new function over here like on connect okay on connect uh, i'm gonna pass some variables over here okay so you can see just some variables over here and you can see the set elements like it gonna set elements into this state so you can see we need to create this state as well so we just create import new state okay also okay so we need to create the state let's create state okay and just create elements elements okay set elements and initial state so just copy this element part control c and control v so right now what your rendering is going off uh, gonna be coming from here so just make the name ch uh, change in name it look like initial initial state okay just copy this from here control c and just paste it over here so what it is doing your default object is coming into this state and you are rendering the elements into the react flow from this state so you can see elements are going over here so just make it little like this and we're gonna use this connect method so we will go step by step so you can see what we're gonna do on elements remove there are two functions that have been included over here so first we're gonna add the on connect method on connect on connect and just on connect okay so just pass this on connect so okay and just to set elements and it's gonna pass a function over here so what will be a function there will be some variables so what are the variables like element e ls and inside that e ls 
this function get called okay so we see so we some params okay control v panel this is what it gonna does so let's try this out let's see what it's going to do so create another node node number six side will be six okay and node six and make the position of this node is 1000 and 100 let's check this out okay so so if you see our node 6 has been added because we added a node into that default object and what we're gonna do we're gonna try to connect this node with the node 5 okay so right now our trees look just look like this and i'm going to try to connect this node like from here so if we see this okay so you can see actually this is the this is the um, like destination point and this is the source point so whenever we you will try to connect a node with that different node then you have to connect the source point with the destination point you cannot connect the source point with the source point so that's not we can do so you can see when i was trying to connect uh, like when i was trying to connect uh, this edge from this source point to this point it was not getting connected so that's because we cannot do that thing into this library so always we need to connect that source with the destination point okay so this is started working let me create another node and the position will be 200 and node value will be 7 and seven okay so our next node you can see has been created so let's connect this seven with the six okay so it's been connected and let's connect this node with the five okay so you can see our five node this six node has been connected with five seven so you can see it's kind of very cool that tree is getting created and you can customize it as per your own choice that how you want to use it like you, this is your first parent node then the execution on the second node like you can create a you can use this in a multiple way or you can create a flow like you want to create a uh, program like like a strategy or something and you can use this node structure to perform those strategy so people create a flow something like that when they start working on something so that's the thing you can do over here and this is mainly this thing is for creating a strategies so marketing like giving a presentation or something so that's the thing also the workflow automation like what if you want to run the automation so you need to configure the flow for running that automation so that's the thing also we can do we can do over here so you can see and next we're gonna try on elements remove okay so just copy this function and paste it over here so before that we need to create this function as well so just copy it and one element remove and just paste it down below create your function control v okay uh, just let's see so you can see what is the on elements to remove and also pass this so control c and control v and just copy this okay so now it's gonna remove the element from your component so let's see uh, remove element is removing or not so if you click on this and you try to remove so right now it is not getting removed if you check into the console what can we do so there's not any matter okay need to check the status like remove elements 
fragments okay there would be might be some kind of issue how uh, he has done set elements element is coming okay now callback function remove element and element to remove the element is instead coming from there all elements remove all elements remove okay elements okay 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 elements to remove elements to remove okay So you can see the element is getting removed from here. So you can see this is how you can remove the element and it is setting. If I would reload this page, you can see all the elements over here. So you can just so you can like you can just connect this source point from here and Okay, so you can connect this and you can just add this like this. Okay, so you can see our elements have been added. So I told you about the elements, how to add the elements into this canvas, and also you can can uh, make a call function like for connecting the elements. Also, you can prepare this dog. It's very easy to understand, and I implemented this code so like three or four months ago so that's why i think i have forgot some topics but uh, this is it that this is the whole configuration to use this repo and there's not much more thing like there's a simple thing that you can use like you you can use the styling and all the things but there are some more thing like you can add the custom custom nodes and all the things so you can do into that so you can see the props type prop types and also the helper function so what are the function total function into this react flow so you can see over here prop types you can see the prop types and properties that we need to pass into that react flow and also you can see the options that you can provide into this object of this node like if this is the object that option you want to provide so you can do over here and also node type and custom node so you can uh, create a custom node like you want to customize a node so you can see into the example so these are the custom node so if you see like custom styling and all the things are going on over here so you can do it from here and you can visit the example as well so whatever i have told you everything is same like two function only work on connect and element remove and after before after that if you want to perform some more action then you have to write it by own uh, otherwise you need to just tie uh, write these prop types and on the basis of this prop types uh, react flow get changed and start behaving something different so that's the thing we can do you can see the edge options over here like uh, you can animate the edges like the line is coming dashed to so dashed and this line is coming straight no animation over here and you can see the animation into this line so that's the thing also you can do from here you can uh, just pass the values into this object key so that's the thing you can do so custom edges also you can customize the edges so there are four op options that you can customize okay so only this is not a long tutorial or long rep, um, like documentation of this react flow it's very easy it's a kind of very simple to implement just you can start using it from here okay so i'll provide the link of this um, library into my description box and you can perform it and if you haven't haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe it and hit the like button as well if you are liking the videos so it helps me a lot and thanks a lot thanks for watching this video